Today, we're setting out to explore seven incredible natural wonders around the world. We're looking at a list made by the Seven Natural Wonders Association, a group that carefully selects the most extraordinary sites on Earth. They use science, public opinions, and cultural importance to create a list that shows off the unmatched beauty of our planet. The goal is to inspire travel and promote the preservation of these places. From towering mountains to vibrant coral reefs, get ready to be amazed by the incredible beauty and diversity of our planet. The Northern Lights. First up, the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. It's the most spectacular light show in the world. Picture bright green, pink, and purple lights dancing in the night sky. They are created when charged particles from the sun collide with the Earth's atmosphere. Usually, you can see the lights at altitudes of 100 to 300 kilometers, or 60 to 180 miles. However, on some occasions, they can be seen as high as 600 kilometers, or 370 miles above the ground. People have known about Aurora Borealis for a very long time. Ancient Greeks, Romans, and even Aristotle wrote about them. In Norse mythology, it's said that they are reflections from the shields and armor of Valkyries. These are female warriors who decided the fate of people in battle. If you want to see the Northern Lights, head to the Arctic Circle, to places like Alaska, Iceland, or Norway. The Grand Canyon. Next, let's talk about the Grand Canyon in the United States. It was formed by the Colorado River over millions of years. It's approximately 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and over 5,900 feet deep. Apart from its sheer size, the Grand Canyon is home to a wide range of plant and animal species, including a special kind of squirrel called the Kaibab Squirrel. You can only find these squirrels in the Ponderosa Pine Forest on the north rim of the canyon. It is also culturally important to Native American tribes, like the Hopi, Navajo, and Havasupai, who've lived there for generations. Another interesting thing about the Grand Canyon is that it has a cool geological mystery called the Great Unconformity. It's a large gap in the rock record that separates two layers of rock that stretch across most of North America. The gap represents about 1.2 billion years of missing rock record. Scientists have long struggled to explain this gap and are curious about what happened to the Earth during that time. If you go to the Grand Canyon, you should check out the stunning turquoise waterfall called Havasu Falls. Also, don't miss the chance to walk on the skywalk at Eagle Point on the West Rim. It's a glass bridge hanging over the canyon that gives you an exciting view. Paracutan Volcano. Now, let's travel to the Mexican state of Macoacan to see our next wonder. Paracutan Volcano. It's close to the town of Uruapan, about 200 miles west of Mexico City. The volcano started erupting on February 20, 1943, when a local farmer noticed the ground cracking open and ash coming out. Over the next few days, a small cinder cone formed, and the volcano quickly grew to be about 1,391 feet, or 424 meters tall. It erupted continuously for nine years. In the early stages of the eruption, molten lava and volcanic ash covered the nearby village of Paracutan. Thankfully, everyone was evacuated and no one got hurt. Nowadays, Paracutan Volcano is considered dormant because it hasn't shown any signs of activity since 1952. The area around the volcano is a popular spot for tourists and researchers interested in studying volcanic processes and the unique geological features created by Paracutan's eruption. Guanabara Bay. Our next stop is the Guanabara Bay, also known as Harbor of Rio de Janeiro. It's a natural harbor on the eastern shore of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. This bay is one of the largest in the world, covering about 412 square kilometers, or 159 square miles. Guanabara Bay has been really important in the history of Rio de Janeiro and Brazil, serving as a major hub for transportation and trade for many centuries. It is surrounded by famous landmarks like Sugarloaf Mountain, and Christ the Redeemer statue on Corcovado Peak. People love this area for cultural events like the Rio Carnival, which attracts millions of visitors each year. However, Guanabara Bay is currently facing environmental problems such as pollution and degradation. The Rio government and environmental groups are trying really hard to clean up the bay, 
but it's been a tough and ongoing struggle. Victoria Falls. Crossing continents, our next wonder is Victoria Falls, a spectacular waterfall on the Zambezi River, right on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe in southern Africa. It's named after Queen Victoria, but the local Tonga people call it Mozio Atunya, which means the smoke that thunders. The waterfall is famous for being one of the most beautiful and largest waterfalls in the world. It's about 1,708 meters or 5,604 feet wide and 108 meters or 354 feet tall. Victoria Falls is so special that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, meaning it's protected by the National Parks of Zambia and Zimbabwe. When you go to Victoria Falls, you can have a lot of fun. You can walk near the falls, go on boat rides, and try exciting stuff like bungee jumping and whitewater rafting. Great Barrier Reef. Next, we're going to Australia to see the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system. It is made up of more than 2,900 separate reefs and 900 islands, stretching for a whopping 2,300 kilometers or 1,430 miles. The reef has one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. It is home to a huge variety of marine life, including coral, sea turtles, and over 1,500 fish species. It was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981, but is now on their endangered list. Due to threats like climate change, coral bleaching, pollution, overfishing, and coastal development. Thankfully, the Australian government is taking action. They're teaming up with environmental groups and researchers to protect the Great Barrier Reef. Their goal is to manage and reduce the impact of human activities on this incredible natural wonder. Mount Everest. We're ending our adventure on a high note. Mount Everest, standing at 29,032 feet or 8,848 meters above sea level, it is the highest point on Earth. It's part of the Himalayas and sits right on the border of Nepal and Tibet. Locally, people call it Sagarmatha in Nepali and Chomolungma in Tibetan. Climbing Everest is no easy feat due to extreme weather conditions, high altitudes, and difficult terrain. The first two people to climb to the top of Mount Everest were Sir Edmund Hillary from New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay, a Sherpa from Nepal. They reached the summit on May 29, 1953. If you're up for the challenge, the safest time to climb is in spring, around April and May before the start of the monsoon season. This is when the weather is more stable and less risky. And there you have it, a glimpse into seven amazing wonders created by Mother Nature. From the magical northern lights, to the vibrant marine life of the Great Barrier Reef, and the towering heights of Mount Everest, each wonder is a testament to Earth's incredible diversity and power. Whether it's the cascading waters of Victoria Falls, the vast beauty of the Grand Canyon, the dramatic volcanic landscape of Paracutan, or the iconic skyline and picturesque setting of Guanabara Bay, these wonders all leave an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. We hope this adventure has reignited your curiosity and love for our amazing planet. Let's not just admire these wonders, but also remember that we have a responsibility to protect and cherish our incredible home. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe for more travel guides and destinations.